Hey guys, my name here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the loot craft add-on pack slash add-on mod. There are three steps in this video. One, step one, how to download mods and install for it. And step two, how to set up your add-on pack. So let's get right to the video. Hey guys, it's a quick tip here. If you already know how to install Forge and install stuff in general, then skip the time point in the video. I'm gonna pop the time point up here right now. I'm gonna put it in the description and I'm gonna put it in the comments. Skip to that part if you already know how to install stuff. Just a little extra thing after recording. Um, some browsers might say that Forge is dangerous if you're just installing Forge for the first time. Just go to the download section and click keep this file. And are you sure I want to keep this file? Click yes, keep it anyways. Forge is not harmful to your computer, it's literally just to help you mod Minecraft. Forge is a very trusted site by many and is used for many Minecraft users. Alright, let's get to step one. Sorry if the mic quality is bad, by the way, guys. I'm literally using a laptop and no mic, just a built in mic and a laptop. First thing I want to do is obviously have Minecraft. Step two is to have Forge. So you want to type Minecraft Forge in whatever browser you have. Once you hit Minecraft Forge, click on Minecraft Forge here. Make sure you're on 1.12.2. This is very important. Don't click 1.12 or 1.12.1, 1.12.2. Then you click installer or Windows installer if you're on Windows. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna click these, but you uh, have to click these, don't worry. There's no virus on the site or anything. Step two, you're gonna want to get the Lucraft mod. So you're going to want to have a Lucraft core, type of Lucraft. As you can see, there are some add-ons that have been created already. You go to Lucraft core. And you click on, you can download it one time here, or you can go straight to the owner, Lucraft, and download two other mods. Download Lucraft core. Heroes expansion and Speedster Heroes so that you can get powers from the Speedster Heroes and the Hero expansion. Once you're done with those, you're really gonna need this really useful tool called JSON Lint, the JSON Validator, because making these add ons are JSON, just like Minecraft Pocket Edition add ons. So once you have this, this is to make sure that you, there's no errors in your J error, errors, not arrows, errors in your JSON code. So once you, another thing you want to, you're gonna want to need is Notepad plus plus. Once you've downloaded Notepad plus plus. Once you download it and installed it, then that should be it and you'll be good to go. Also, actually, another thing you're gonna need <laughs> um, is Paint.net or any other paint program that allows you to make transparent images. This is not Paint.net. Um, This is Paint.net. It's a video here, right here, how to download Paint.net. So once you've downloaded Paint.net and installed it, I believe that should be it this time. Let's get to the installation part. All 
Alright, so once you've downloaded everything, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna click on them. So I have four chairs, an example, you click on four. And you click install client. And for the rest, you simply click on them, follow the steps, and install them. Sorry, I'm not showing how to install them all, but that will be a lot of time. And I already have these things installed. So just look up a video on how to install things, how to download things, how to download Note Light Plus Plus, and it will be great. I already have Forge installed, so I'm not gonna show you it installing, but you would just click install client there. After that, you're gonna want to run Minecraft, run the Forge, close it, download the mods, and put them in your dot minecraft folder after you've done installing the mods then you go on to actually making your add-on once you've loaded the mods a folder in the dot minecraft is going to come up called add-on packs and that's where you're going to put your add-on when you're done making it all right so to start making your add-on pack what you want to do is think of a name for your add-on pack once you've got the name you're going to have to create a new folder with the name of the item pack let's see um, what would be a good name for a pack uh, I'm just gonna call mine fish people for an example inside that fish people pack you're gonna want to create a new folder that folder is assets inside the assets folder you're gonna create six folders you're going to add the folder Take me away from home. show me all the places I've never known Alright, once you're done with that, you're gonna have six folders, block space, land, recipe, fruit pet, fruit flowers, and textures. Then you want to go inside the textures folder, and you're gonna create a new folder called icon, a new folder called models, and a folder called I feel like I'm missing something here icons, models, and items icons, models, and items once you're done with that you want to come back to this folder and you want to create a logo that has to be 32 by 32 pixels so I'm going to quickly create that and come back. Alright, I went ahead and made a logo, totally did not copy the Minecraft fish and resize it to 32 by 32 pixels. Why would I do that? You know, not to speed up time or anything. Um, once you got your logo, create a 32 by 32 pixels. Then you want to create a new file again. What if, and a text document. You're going to name it uh, add on pack 
Star M C Meta. Add on pack dot MC Meta. And you're gonna a message is gonna pop up. Do you want to remain it? It might become unstable. Click the yes. So that's add on pack dot MC Meta. You want to open this with the Notepad Plus Plus, which we downloaded earlier. And you want to copy this in here, which I will provide in the description. And it will also be on the site. On the Lucraft Get Lab or Get Pop site, which will be in the description. And. From this, you want to name your pack. So let's call this. Fish people, you name yours whatever you want to name it. The author, you put in your name or your YouTube or your Minecraft name, whatever you want to put in the description and the description. Um, and the logo, the name of the logo. And you click close, you click save. And you close off that. And that's your pack set up right there. Alright, recording this after four mistake I made. Uh I'm recording this after I already recorded the video, there's four mistake I made. You actually have to make a different folder in asset folder. That folder is gonna be abbrevi an abbreviation or whatever you want it to be of your pack. So since my pack is called Fish People, I'm gonna call this FP. And all the other folders that are in your assets go in this. So everything goes in here. So when you're done, you're gonna have fish people. You're gonna have the assets add on pack your logo. Inside the assets, you're gonna have your abbreviations of your pack. So my own is FP for fish people. You're gonna have your block state, line, recipes, food set, superpowers, and textures. Inside your textures, you're gonna have icons, items, and models. And next episode, I'm going to show you how to add superpowers. But for now, this is technically a pack. We won't add anything in the game yet. But we haven't added anything in it yet with JSON files. But for now, this is your pack here. So once we add everything in, I'll show you how to load it up. But it's really simple to load it up. just put it in a file. Pretty fast to that load in the video. In the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to add the superpowers. So, tune in next time for that.